Be by signing Senate Bill 15. And with the stroke of the governor's $15 an hour minimum wage, even though right now so many desperate Delaware employers are already paying that or more. The legislation boils down to one core principle. Someone who puts in a hard day's work deserves to earn enough to keep a roof over their head and food on the table. Senate Bill 15 was approved along party lines. Many Republicans and some individual industries opposed it. Some Delaware business owners believe it's the right thing to do morally and a way to attract and keep happy employees. And if you're just generally happier and not as stressed, your performance is going to be better. And so you'll have better customer service and then you'll have more sales. It's like it all just makes sense. So this isn't going to be an overnight type deal. This January, Delaware's minimum wage will go up to 10 an hour. The year after that, it will be 13 in 25 an hour and finally in 2025 that is when it will finally hit $15 an hour. Everyone makes more than $15 an hour here already. Scott owns Bardea Food and Drink in Wilmington and says he pays good workers well. This new law won't affect servers who generally make well more than 15 bucks an hour already, but he worries about back of house employees, specifically those workers who are already above 15 bucks. They're going to want to raise too. Imagine the people that are making, and they see that people just to start get fifteen dollars an hour. Where does it, where does it go from there? How do you look them in the eyes? You know, the, the you know they're going to want more money. It's it's obvious. More money for workers could be a really good thing, but it could also mean businesses have to raise their prices. But again, to be clear, this is all phasing in over the next few years. Tim Furlong, NBC10 News.